welcome back to another adventure. This time I'm not gonna tell you guys where I'm going. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, we've just made it to the trailhead. A little hint for you guys, if you wanna guess where I'm at, I am parked at Stevens Pass Ski Resort. So that's probably way too big of a hint. That's gonna give it away so easily, but at Stevens Pass, just got here. Let's get on the trail. on the trail we're going on an adventure <laughs> officially and it's also a lot sunnier over here than I was expecting it to be the weather in Seattle was calling for rain all day long but I guess this side a little bit further east it's a lot sunnier so it doesn't look like rain at all but maybe it might move in later on who knows but I have my rain jacket just in case and this trail that I'm doing today is also part of the PCT the Pacific Crest Trail and whenever I do little sections of the PCT, it just has like a special feeling to it. I always think about like all the people who started way down by the Mexican border and just imagine them being all the way up here north now on the tail end of the trail, just almost finishing it off. It just seems like a super cool little thing. Just a crazy journey, a crazy endeavor. Who knows, maybe one of these years I'll tackle the PCT. walked right into a spider web. Oh, I hate that. It's the worst. Gosh. Fucking spiders, man. Who needs them? Why, God? That shot will turn out good, but we'll see, we'll try. <laughs> so I can tell that this is gonna be one of those super misleading hikes because online it says that the hike is about three and a half miles and it gains about 1500 feet, which based on that, it's like, oh, that's not so bad. It's pretty common, pretty average, but I've been walking probably for about two miles now and we haven't gained anything. It's just been flat for two miles. So that's telling me that we are about to gain all that 1500 feet in like the last mile and a half or last mile even. So it's one of those hikes where you're just on a little stroll and then bam, you go straight up and it just kicks your butt. <laughs> So here I am right there and I'm heading to that lake. So I go up and over, which means going up this and over this, I believe. So this is where all the climb comes in. 
Wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, we're definitely starting to climb now. <sighs> I just hit another spider web off camera. I just passed someone heading down the trail. How is there already a spider web going across the trail again? These spiders are out here like flipping dash from the Incredibles. Just do, 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 just hanging webs. <laughs> Guys, I just walked through another spider web. That's literally like the fourth time. <laughs> this trail is just spider galore, I guess. Daggum. trudging along here all the gain is definitely at the end like I expected Whew. just grinding We made it. Wow, look at this. This looks like as good a spot as any to hang out. Doesn't get much better than this. The only thing that will make this better is some coffee and food. And that's exactly what I brought. <laughs> Now the best part.
Now we just gotta wait for the water to boil. We'll have a nice cup of joe. And I also brought with me a protein cookie and some oatmeal. That's gonna be a perfect combo. Just a nice warm cup of joe, a nice warm cup of oatmeal. Cannot wait. Cheers. So good. Got the cookie and the coffee. That was so good. All right, I'm all packed up. I'm gonna make my way back to the car now. I do that hard part of saying goodbye, which is always the hardest. But I spent a glorious two hours down there on the lake, on the beach. Nice hot cup of joe, some nice food, beautiful views. Can't beat it. Goodbye, lake. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. That's where I was hanging out. Okay, I'm just gonna fly back to the car. It's about 3.10, so we'll see how fast I get back to the car. And then we'll do a quick little Bible thought of the day, and I'll wrap up this adventure. So that little clearing that I just showed, that's where I came from. It's uh, about 3.57 now. So we've been going for about 47 minutes. Making good time. Beautiful views. That's two and a half, and that's four to the lake. Just got back to the parking lot. It's 4.45, a little after 4.45. So it took me about an hour and 45 minutes to get out of there. And I was kind of thinking on the way back, I'm like, this feels way longer than seven miles round trip. Sure enough, I looked at that map. According to that map, it's six and a half miles one way. So that's 13 miles round trip. But I looked online and it says from this entrance to the lake is like 10 miles round trip. So I don't know, I went to the wrong entrance. 
I hiked way further than seven miles and I feel it. <laughs> I definitely feel it. <laughs> Whew. Tell you what, if it is 13 miles, it certainly feels like it. Oh man, I am beat. Oh, get these things off my feet immediately. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think I need new boots. My goodness, Danner, come on. I need new boots. <laughs> oh yeah, straight to all the goodies. Oh, oh man, whoo. Got all the snacks, man. Got some yogurt, some veggies and dip, some chicken skewers, some beef jerky, some electrolytes. I got an apple and a pear. Whew, I'm gonna be feasting, <laughs> starving. My watch officially says just over 29,000 steps and just over 2,000 calories burned, according to my watch. That is ridiculous. So I'm gonna chow down on all these little snacks, all these little goodies, and then head home and rest up. But quick Bible thought of the day before I end this video. And the Bible thought for this adventure is that True peace and the true essence of peace can only be found through faith in God. He's the only one that can provide us with true, pure, like unexplicable peace. You can be in the middle of sorrow, in the middle of a storm in your life, in the middle of something horrific, but you can still just be filled with this unexplainable peace. It is supernatural peace. You can't explain it. It just washes over you. Jesus' presence is just over you and just gives you incredible peace. And it's just supernatural. There's no way to explain it. No matter what circumstances you're facing in life, you can still just go about it with so much peace if you have faith in God and you put your faith in Him and your trust in Him and He will give you that supernatural peace. So I encourage you if you're seeking peace but you are seeking it through worldly things and you're just not finding it, I just encourage you to seek it through Jesus. So if you're seeking peace in worldly things and you're just not finding it, I encourage you to try to seek peace through faith in God. Lean into him, ask him to give you his true supernatural peace, and it will feel so much different than any peace you've ever experienced before. It will be unexplainable. God is good, and he will give you that peace because he loves you, he cares for you, and he wants you to live with such a peace. So lean into him and search through him for that peace, and he will give it to you. God is good. Thank you, Jesus, for this adventure. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness. Amen. Just so grateful for this adventure today. It was a great adventure, a beautiful, beautiful lake, beautiful sceneries out here in the PNW. But now I'm heading home, so I'm gonna end the video here. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here. If you are watching my entire video, I appreciate you so much. I look at the analytics. A lot of people drop off right around the seven, eight minute mark. It's totally okay, it's totally understandable. These are longer videos, so it's not always easy to watch them. But if you do watch them all the way through, I appreciate you so much. Let me know in the comments if you watch the entire video. I wanna know who you are and I just wanna appreciate you so, so much. So thank you and we'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.